Hi guys and welcome back to Junior's Travels. The following vlog is part of our Italian series and was shot during our trip a few weeks ago. But as you can see, we're at home now. We are indeed Mr D, back home to the rain. But we'll continue putting out videos from our trip every Saturday at 6pm. So guys, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give us a like. Ring that bell. Catch you later guys. Bye. See you later, bye. Okay guys, let's go back to the end of June this year. We are on the way home and we're stopping at a little village. I'm going to put the name on the screen as I cannot pronounce it. Gone for a light supper tonight and um, because we had that fantastic lunch earlier on. Um, we've gone for a camembert as we're in France and the park up there is a nice a baker shop literally 20 meters from here and mr d was very excited because they had a pork pie and he's not had a pork pie for six weeks so how is it absolutely lovely a little bit more hammy than at home but oh it was a delight to have so and we've got a little glass of a wine, glass of wine. Cheers. to go with it cheers Welcome to France, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we've had a nice day driving, and we're now going to tuck into this, and we've got strawberries for dessert. So, catch you later, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. D. And where have you been? I've been to the bakery. The bigger one. You have, have you? And what did I've you got get? Some croissants. Fresh croissant for breakfast. Yeah, Very nice. Croissants. One for you, one for me. And the biggest thing is, I bought some um, pan of raisins. Look at the size of them. Ah, they are massive. They're beauties, they are, aren't they? They are lovely. They are beauties. Yeah. They only had uh, two left, so two left. I grabbed the last two for isolation. Happy so. days. That's, that's lunch sorted out then. I am so happy we're back in France yeah. at their, at their uh, baker shops. So. You so, can't you can't beat a lingerie. No, definitely not. So let's get on and then let's decide where we're gonna go because we haven't really decided where we're going today, have we? So, no, not yet. But um right, let's get on. Okay. So good evening folks. We have come to a farm to stay the night and all I would say is listen to this. So flipping quiet, we're the only ones here, we found it purely by chance and it's near Dijon and um, yeah, it's very nice and it was quite warm when we got here so we just chilled out, sat under the canopy of the van and we just walked up the lane and there's some hills over there and some cows down there. This reminds me of Ireland to this house. Does it? Yeah. I Walking suppose. up and down the lane. Yeah, it's very similar because the lane in Ireland is, is very similar like this. And yeah, right. The sun is just up there now. Going to be setting in the sky. Very secure this place as well because Considering we're in the middle of nowhere, the guy has got a great big chain on the gate. And uh, I don't know if that's because there's a lot of break-ins or it's just secure, but it is on part for night. And as you can see here, it's got the part for night sign and a big chain. And we are parked in there and we're just walking up here because Mr D wants to see the horses oh the horses have disappeared they'll be around I'm sure they'll come back and we'll see them from the van anyway so 
It's in a little, little village called... Do we know what the name is of this village? No. No, we'll put it on the screen. And the man is very, very nice. And there is May. And look at this, folks. Nice and peaceful and quiet. Just the odd bird. And the owner's guy is just down there. And Mr. D has just shown me the mistletoe growing in the apple tree. Oh, shame it's not Christmas. And there's some more. Mr. D, we're under the mistletoe. <laughs> you know what that means. Under the mistletoe. That was private, folks. And that's a view of the whole area. We're just parked at the top because that's where we're level. Not bad, is it? And the total cost? Six euros. Cannot complain. The next day, we set off relatively early to continue north. slowly making our way up towards Calais. We only had a few days left. We stopped at a small town called Frontiers and what a surprise we had when we got there. <laughs> We're just giving him some bread. Mr. D's feeding the ducks right by the van. How cute is that? So good afternoon folks. We uh, were on our way to Calais and we've got a few days spare so we chose to come to this place called Fronsils. There's our van in a nice little pitch. It's a little campsite in a little quaint little village costing 12 euros a night. And what we discovered is the Olympic flame is coming through here any minute. So we're off to see the Olympic flame come through. So that's the result and a bit of a bonus for us, isn't it, Mr. D? It is, certainly is, yeah. So quite exciting, really. And the weather's nice. And the weather's nice. So we're just headed up to, to the little village centre now, to the town hall, to see what's going on. This is the entrance to the site here. This little village have decorated the whole village in these little garlands. And this one has all the Olympic rings. This village had really made a fantastic effort. Later on I met the mayor who told me they'd been up since 6.30 in the morning decorating the village. There was even some horses, can you believe some camels and live music everywhere. Love this. They've got all the people from the old people's home in their wheelchairs, all lined up, enjoying the entertainment. Absolutely brilliant. Two fifty euros for me. That's cheap, isn't it? Okay, we've got that lovely This guy was quite the entertainer with his cold play impression. A bit of cold play in French, why not? <laughs> of course, the real reason we were here, along with all the villagers, was to see the Olympic flame, and we didn't have long to wait. Mr. Dee's happy, he's been given a little French bag to wave. <laughs> Bonjour! Bonjour! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> And just like that, it was gone. There you go, Mrs. Moon. We 
did have great fun that day and the people of Fronchelles, they welcomed us with open arms. This is how they transport the flame. We were lucky enough to catch a glimpse of it later on. And this is a last look at the river before we moved on the following day. Well, you can't beat that park up. We had a great night's sleep and moved on in search of the next stop on the way up to Calais. We are just on the hunt for a park up for the night. And as we're driving along, we saw this place to stop. And it's a memorial park in Berry U Back. So this area is the National Memorial Park and it pays tribute to all the tank crews who fell during the First World War. So we're just having a little look around. First thing that strikes you is how quiet it is here. So we'll go to this first one here. Wow, camera plod there. So this one here is the Scheider CA1 tank. Very good. There was 400 tanks built between 1916 and 1918. And this one was restored and donated to the park. And it tells you a bit about the park here. It says, on the day of the armistice, 11th of November 1918, the French army had 2,700 Renault FT tanks, as well as several other tanks here. So that's what this is, a FT tank. It had 3,000 tanks in the Germans. Gosh. Look, look at this big It's really well restored. Gosh. Just walking round under the gun. And this is the big memorial here and all the names of the people that perished are on the wall there and everywhere in this park has the memorials boards that tell you about it really nice but it says here general de gaulle visited the monument in 1951 and it's very peaceful here you can just hear the road noise but this is why we like taking the side roads back to Calais because you get to stop at places like this right back on the road then good morning from Pommiers there is May. We're in pitch 35 this time and yeah very level. There's Mr D. He's just gonna give a wave I think or is he hiding by the door? <laughs> he's thinking should I come out should I not? Yes ta -da, he's out. <laughs> we decided we're gonna walk up to the village because we've stayed here so many times we've never walked to the village and apparently there's a market on today about two stalls probably but we thought we'd go and have a have a little look and this is where we're staying here a reception just there we wandered up the town for an hour or so looking at the shops but most of them were shut and then of course the inevitable happened we found the local pub and of course that was open now it would have been rude not to say hello to the landlord and watch a bit of the Tour de France when we were there. This is the last night of our trip, our final night in France, and I'm taking Mrs D out on a date night. Hope you do. We're not going far because we're going to the uh, restaurant on site, aren't we? 
Well, yeah, we're going to the on-site restaurant. Uh, see what they got. Back to have a couple of beers. Who's hope? Oh, yeah. Look up there, folks. Sun. Not sure if that's the last time we're going to see the sun for a while. Being back to UK, but we'll see. So, I'm sure we'll be back to this site, won't we? Again? We will be back to this site again. Yeah, it's a yeah. lovely site, and so it's half out of Calais, so it's spot on for for when we come get back go on the ferry overnight. Gap yeah. early onto the ferry. It's a great little site for kids, actually, as well. To be fair, they've got a great big bouncy giraffe there. Little play park. Little play park. And of course, you've got the little swimming pool up here. So, for for you know, a little family wants just to pop over to France. A couple of days. It is spot on. And there's the. I mean, the pool's not massive, but it is what it is. And it's heated. Yes. There you go. Right. Here we go. Bar, snack, restaurant. That's us. Let's eat. Now, what Mr. D didn't tell me is the football's on. Check it out. So I'm really not going to get much conversation out of this person tonight, am I? You'll get loads of conversation, darling. You just won't get no eye contact. <laughs> well, we did have a great meal and we did watch the football. Then retired to bed to be up early to catch our ferry in the morning. Good morning, people. We are just running our last safety checks through. Check this before we leave for Cali Port to catch our ferry home. So it's very quiet as you can hear and um, had a lovely night's sleep again. But that's it, six weeks are over, time to go home. Are you ready, Mr. Doyle? We're ready, let's go home. Let's go home. We had the most smoothest crossing ever on that ferry home and it gave us time to reflect on our time in Italy. We'd had brilliant weather and made some lovely friends. And let's not forget our latest two subscribers, Tracy and Tony from Hastings. But thank you to everyone who has supported this channel and has watched these videos. Our channel has certainly grown in the past couple of months. We have over 8,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? However, we do need your help. Give us a like and ring that bell for notifications when we pop a new video on. But most of all, leave a comment. Thank you to everyone and thank you for supporting us. Catch you next time on our new adventure. Thank you.